everybody, today I'm going to discuss the shape of the gap in the back of a corset and what it means. In my corset reviews, I do try to be as objective as possible, however, one thing that I cannot control that is rather subjective is how the corset looks on me. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a figure that's fairly balanced on top and bottom, so a lot of off-the-rack corsets fit well enough on me. However, um, anybody who has a body that is not exactly my shape and dimensions, of course it's going to fit differently on them. So today I'm going to discuss um, different types of gaps um, that may occur commonly for certain types of corsets um, on different body types and what you can do about that. I'm also going to uh, give recommendations for certain types of corsets for certain bodies. The first shape we'll look at is the A shape. This means that your hips are too wide for this certain corset pattern. This type of gap is common for women who are naturally a pear shape or if they have a hip spring more than about 12 to 14 inches, which most off the rack corsets don't cater to. Do not try to force the hips smaller because you may end up getting an odd bump at the lower edge of the corset. It also can make your hips go numb. If this is you, then avoid any corsets that say modern slim silhouette or gentle curves. For those who have a larger hip spring and they're looking for an off the rack corsets, I'd recommend Isabella Corsetry or What Katie Did. The second shape we'll look at is the V shape. This means that your rib cage is too broad, or if you're like me, then you have a very fleshy torso and you need to lace it with a little bit more room so you don't get major muffin top. Even if your lower ribs are quite narrow, you may still experience this if you have broad shoulders and you're wearing an overbust corset. For standard corsets with a larger rib cage, I've had good experiences with the Timeless Trends and the CS426 from Orchard Corset. And the next shape we're going to discuss is this one. So it's smaller at the top and bottom of the corset, big gaping at the waistline. And um, you've seen me review this corset before and you've seen how I can get it laced straight in the back. However, I'm just lacing it really quickly this way um, to show you just an example of what it looks like. And that is not good for the corset actually because um, one reason that the corset might be doing that is the bones might be too narrow for their channels, so they're twisting their channels. The bones might be not stiff enough or strong enough, so um, they're bending under the pressure instead of staying straight. Another reason is that maybe you have ordered a corset that's too small for you or um, with a smaller waist than you're ready for because your waist will provide resistance pushing outward on the waistline of the corset if you have not trained down enough um, to be able to withstand those restrictions. Your body's going to push back on the corset, cause a shape like that. But instead of having this shape right here, what you should do instead is actually loosen the laces so that whatever the gap is, um, at the waistline, whether it's four inches, five inches, whatever, try and have the same gap at the top and bottom. What this means is your corset may have significant gaping. It might actually have a significant gap of space between your, your rib cage and the corset or between your hips and the corset itself. Um, so it would be harder to hide underneath clothing, but it is actually better for your corset to do it this way. If you notice that you're getting a gap shape like this in the back of your corset, if you can, then uh, exchange that corset for one size larger so that you'll be able to close it a little bit more at the waistline. Or you can opt for another brand of corset that offers a, more of a gentle curve instead of the crazy <laughs> dramatic hourglass silhouette to start with. So Leatherotics has more of a modern slim silhouette and Timeless Trends has a gentle hourglass silhouette instead of something, you know, crazy that your body isn't ready for yet. The next shape I'm going to describe is this one. So you'll notice that it's wider at the top and the bottom and smaller in the middle. What this means basically is your body is curvier than the cut of the corset itself. And this is a common trick in a lot of websites that sell corsets. Any corset companies will hire models that are natural hourglass shapes so that when they put on a more tubular looking corset, it will look curvier on them. Some of these companies may not even take a picture of the back because the gap here will give it away. Other companies will say that having an hourglass shape in the back um, gap in addition to the rest of the corset is sort of an aesthetic 
taste. I prefer my corsets to not have that hourglass shape in the back. I prefer the gap to be straight. So if you are having the problem where you are curvier than your corsets are, then I suggest um, the Josephine corset by El Isabella Corsetry. Also, um, almost any selection from what Katie did more towards the Morticia corset and less towards the um, Gina corset. Also the Curvy Girl corset by Asriel's Accomplice is a good choice for you as well as um, certain selections from Miss Martha's corset shop which are quite curvy. And now let's look at the diagonal gap in which the edges of the corset are parallel. However, they're not exactly going straight up and down on you. Um, many corsets have a habit of sitting diagonal on me. You can see this on the Timeless Trends Emerald underbust, on the Pink Axford's underbust C242, on the What Katie Did Tempest overbust, and even some of my homemade corsets like my Sebastian corset. If your corset twists on you, then there are several reasons that this may be happening. One, if the corset is made with twill and all of the panels have the twill running in the same direction, then it may stretch more on one bias than the other. This is because twill, while it is strong, it has an asymmetric weave. You can test whether your corset has either been built asymmetrically or had stretched asymmetrically by measuring the half circumference on each side of your corset at the ribcage, waist, and hips and seeing if both sides match up. Two, it may just have been how you put on the corset that day. Always try to lace in front of a mirror to avoid this situation. And if you notice that your corset is twisted on you, then immediately take it off and then put it on again straight this time. You don't want your corset to become seasoned to lay twisted on you forever. Three, it may not be the corset, but rather your body that's asymmetric. Scoliosis runs in my family, and so after having a couple years of corsets twisting on me consistently in the same direction, I decided to finally see a chiropractor. And I found that while my spine is fairly straight, my pelvis is actually twisted and my left hip protrudes more than my right hip, which is what I kind of thought what was happening when I did my waffle iron experiment. So after some treatment, and I'm still doing treatment these days, I'm noticing that my standard corsets are actually fitting a little bit better and I'm getting less numbness issues in my left hip. So something is working. So here is an example of a corset that used to twist on me. This was my Sebastian corset. And you can see that it's not twisting quite as much. There's still a tiny bit of asymmetry in there, but it's definitely looking better than before. To the untrained eye, I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. Um, but if you have any sort of asymmetry in your body, um, whether you had broken some ribs before or, or your hips are not aligned, or if one leg is uh, longer than the other, either from um, injury or congenital issues, or if you have scoliosis or lordosis or kyphosis, anything like that, I highly recommend going custom made instead of off the rack. And what an experienced corseteer can do is take separate measurements of each side of your body. I'd shown that in a different video, which I'll link right up there. And even though you may be asymmetric and the corset might be asymmetric, when you wear the corset, it will end up looking like you are symmetric. I hope this video cleared up a lot of questions for you and that you're able to make more wise um, buying decisions online when it comes to choosing corsets for your body type. If you did like this video, then please click the like button, help support the channel. If there's anything that I didn't cover in this video, if you have any questions or comments you would like to add to this discussion, please leave them down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.